we have time to talk about today is your surroundings, your behavior, your mindset. We, want, we have time to talk about a few of these things that should be enough to stimulate you to say, I will not be uh, the experiment of my girlfriends. I, uh, and you know what? And just saying girlfriends, listen, y'all, well, y'all, you have to be careful how you throw that word friend around. Uh, girlfriend, guy friend, be careful how you throw that word friend around because see, true friends they want you to win. They don't want you to do anything that's going to bring damage to your name, your reputation, your health. True friends want you to be healthy, strong. They want you to win. They want you to achieve. They only want you to do the things that are good, the things that you can do in the daytime, not things you have to sneak around and do at night. True friends want you to listen to your parents when they tell you to be home by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever your curfew is. True friends want you to, 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 to respond and to admire and to respect and to honor the requests of your parents, mother or father, who if you've been raised by your grandmother, they want you to admire, respect and honor the things that are asked and required of you to do by those who are in a, who by those who are your uh, authority. So let's talk about something, you all. Let's start off with talking about something. Now, listen, don't y'all run off when I start talking to y'all. Y'all see I'm um, passionate. I'm serious about what I'm saying. I'm being very laid back about this. Don't you all run off uh, and get discouraged on the things that I'm saying because I've got some great news to share with you at the end of this video. In this video, I'm going to keep it to right at 10 minutes max, all right? And we're at four minutes, going on five minutes right now, so I don't got much time to talk. Now... I've already spoke to the young men about some, some things that they need to watch and work on this summer, some things that they need to prepare themselves for mentally, uh, even in, in emotionally, uh, all together anyway, they're all connected. But, but, but listen to this. Uh, I need you all, young women, to help the young men be strong. In other words, don't be their experiment. There are young men that, that they are prepared to stay at the malls this summer so that they can find some victim. They are, they are desperate. And they have it all planned out. That they want to hang out in places looking for some new fresh meat. They want you to be the victim. They want you to be their experiment. They want you to be the one that will compromise and, and do things that you really shouldn't be doing. You're not even married yet. You're not in, you're not in that commitment, that that uh, 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 that committed uh, 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 marriage relationship. That's not where you are. They want you to compromise your body. They want you to compromise your mind. They want you to compromise you loving yourself. They want you to compromise your self-respect. They want you to compromise your communication. What comes out of your mouth. You start talking different when you get around them. You start using profanity. You start, you start acting like you like things that you really don't even like. You start responding to the things that your skin, that your flesh likes. All those sick desires, all those sexual desires, all those imaginations, all those curiosities. You begin to compromise and you begin to give in to those things. I want you this summer to say no. Say no. Okay, listen, don't go anywhere you're not supposed to be. Make sure your parents know where you are. You let them protect you. You make it very clear where you're going. If a guy does not want to meet your dad, if he doesn't want to meet all your brothers, if he don't want to meet your family, if he got to want to sneak off with you to spend time with you, but he can't spend time with you outside your front door, he can't spend time with you in your parents' house, he wants to get you along somewhere, I want, we need some privacy. We need some privacy. They all up on us. Everybody listen to what we're saying. Okay, well, what are you saying that's so deep that, that you have to have some alone time? If what you're saying is so good, don't you want her parents to hear it? Don't you want her dad to hear you say, oh, I like you. I really, I really respect you. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I can't hang out tonight. I got to go to work. Don't you, if, if this guy has so much good stuff to say, why he wants to sneak you somewhere by yourself to say it? I want to stir you up today. I want you to prepare your mind for those people. Girls and guys that will try to get you to compromise, that will try to get you to be the experiment this summer. They want you to be the one that fell victim. Don't fall for it. Those girls, when you go out with them, if they're wearing clothes, they look provocative, they look like they're a bunch of prostitutes. Why are you hanging out with them? 
Why do you want to go out, out with them? Do they make you feel more pretty? Do they make you feel more special? Do you like the attention? You like the attention of older men? What's going on with you? Why are you trying to wear clothes or hang around people who wear clothes that's seductive, that's seducing people with all of the perverts out here, all of the pedophiles, you got all these crazy folk out here, and y'all want to walk around here with skirts on so short that you got to keep pulling them down every time you take a step. That it is a sign of low self-esteem. You have to use something to show something about yourself to make yourself be more appealing. You got to show all your cleavage to make yourself look more appealing. So you think you are appealing without showing your body off. Your intelligence is your appeal. Your intelligence should be what's what's attractive. The anointing. The anointing, the godliness on you should be what's attractive. And see, what you got to watch out for is the anointing is attractive and it draws the attention of spirits. It draws the attention of people who don't have good intentions because they want you to become the experiment. They want you to become the guinea pig. They want you to become the one to get drunk at the party and start doing all crazy stuff, lifting up your shirt, taking off your clothes, acting like you out of your mind. That's what they want. They want you to be the guinea pig. They want to record you on their cell phones talking stupid. They want to record you on their cell phones getting into fights. They want to record you on your cell phones acting the opposite of what you pretend to your family you are. They want you to be the experiment. They want you to be the guinea pig. They want you to be the one to try those new drugs and lose your mind, fall out and have a seizure and die. They want you to be the experiment. They want to see how you respond to getting high. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This video is already over 10 minutes. So I'm going to pull back those words I said when I said I wanted this video to be 10 minutes. We're already over our time, but I'm not done yet. If you want to turn this video off, turn it off. But I'm trying to tell you something this summer. Don't go anywhere where there is not adult supervision. If there are no adults there, don't even go. The moment you find out there are no adults there that are supervising you all, leave. If your friends, if you roll with somebody and they ain't ready to go, listen, call your parents on the phone. Use somebody's phone and say, this is where I am. Come pick me up now. There are no adults at this party. I don't want to be at this gathering of young people. I don't want to be here and something can happen and there's no adult supervision. And even sometimes when there are adult supervision, you've got to watch the adults. Because you have some boys that have uncles that are older that love messing around and trying to seduce young girls. Oh, I'm landing on y'all today. They want you to be the experiment. They want you to be the guinea pig. Don't do it. Don't you fall for it. Don't be in a room with, with no boy by yourself and you already know what, in, what his intentions are. If he even halfway act like he like you, you don't have no business being in a room by yourself with him and nothing supervised. No one knows where you are. You don't have no business sneaking off to a hotel room. No one knows where you are. What are you talking about? Anybody else can walk in the room. Have you ever heard of girls getting gang raped? Have you ever heard of girls been taken advantage of by five and six and 10 and 20 guys? She ends up pregnant and don't even know who the baby daddy is because she was somewhere she wasn't supposed to be. And now she's ashamed to say that what even happened. She's ashamed to talk about how it even came about. Don't set yourself up like that. Be where you're supposed to be at all times. Don't be at the wrong place this summer. Act like you have some sense this summer. Now, I'm going to share something with you all because I don't want you to feel like I'm fussing with you. I am fussing with you. I am. I am. I'm fussing with you. I want you. I, I, I love you. You're smart. You're intelligent. And don't fall for this. Don't fall for all the little cunning compliments. Oh, baby, you know, your hair looks so good. You got that pretty hair. You got that pretty hair. Where you get that from? You must be mixed with Indian or something. All that stupid stuff. You really? You're going to fall for that one? Y'all going to fall for that one? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, your eyes so pretty. Look at your eyes. No, they ain't pretty. Yeah, they are. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You want to grab by your face. Look at me. Look at me. You're so pretty. You know, I really like you. You know, I, I wanted to talk to you during school, but I just didn't. Shut up. Don't be the experiment. Don't be the guinea pig. Come on. That boy should be somewhere working this summer. That boy shouldn't hardly have much time at all this summer. A boy is supposed to be working. 
He's supposed to be working. And if he has a single parent, a single mom raising him, he really should be working during the summer. Trying to help his mother out. Sorry, boys. I mean, this is this this crap is out of control. Stop being impressed by these dudes just because they got some stupid tennis shoes on. Gary, he got those new Jordans. Gary, he got those new, new Jordans. This boy ain't even got $10. But he got some new Jordans. Stop being impressed by stupid stuff. You be occupied this summer. You get yourself busy this summer. Stay busy doing some good things this summer. Hanging around some good people this summer. That's what this summer is about. For you to prepare for your new year. For your new season in school. For your next year in college. Girl, we going to Cancun this summer. We going to go to Cancun. For what? To do what? What are you going to go do? You need to be trying to find a seminar or something to go to so you can learn something new. Listen to this. 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Likewise, also women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control. Oh, <laughs> Ladies, dress like you love yourself. Yes, you, you're, you're pretty. You're cute. Yes, yes, you are. I, let me validate you right now. Yes, you are. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You're, you're, oh, yes. God has God has blessed you. God has blessed you. You, you, you. You're not you're not flat up and down like a like a like an ironing board. God has blessed you. Yes, he has. God bless you. All right. Now, can you please put on some clothes? Can you please dress like you love yourself and respect yourself? Can you please cover your cleavage? Can you please? Can you please? Can you do that? Can you stop? Can, can you stop trying to get attention by showing the split up in here? Really? So if you start off meeting a guy and all you're doing is showing him all the goods, how do you think he's going to perceive you? You're easy. You're easy. We're not going to tell you that. You fresh me. Oh, man, this going to be easy right here. I already got it. I already got it. Dress in respectable apparel. Dress in respectable clothing. Dress in, you don't need to wear something showing all your prints. Read between the lines, y'all. This is this, this, this a family-friendly video. Read between the lines. You don't need nothing so tight to showing all your prints everywhere. All right? Every time you put on something, it's got to show your body. Be careful. Be careful because you are reaching and asking for things that you don't even realize you're asking for. You are in your flesh, and your flesh is going to get you in trouble. Don't get in trouble this summer. Do not be the experiment, and don't be the guinea pig. Be Modest and have some self-control. That's the last thing I'm going to share with you this summer. Have self-control. Don't be so easily running off at the mouth when somebody says something you don't like. You just react it instead of responding. You think before you speak. Think before you speak. Because there are a lot of girls, they will love to scratch and cut up that little pretty face of yours. Think before you open your mouth this summer. Be where you're supposed to be. Love yourself. Dress like a lady. Carry yourself like a lady and keep your legs closed. Do you understand? You keep your legs closed. This ain't time for babies. This is not time for babies. That's not what this is. And those of you all who are in college, those guys that are get graduating from college, y'all be careful. Be careful. You have to complete your education. You should. Finish what you started. And don't let nothing get in your way, especially not a boy and not a so-called man. You finish what you started and you stay focused and you stay strong within yourself. Love yourself. Do not be the experiment this summer. Do not be the guinea pig. That's what I had to share with you. I'm sorry if y'all don't like what I said. Do y'all do y'all still like Dr. Yonder? It's a, do y'all still like me? Y'all still like me? I like y'all too. All right. Be smart. I just want you to be smart. Don't fall for the stupid stuff. Be smart this summer. I love you. God loves you. And God has, he has great plans for you. His thoughts toward you are good. There's an expected end. And that end is good. God has it all planned out for you. You've got to continue going forward, doing the right things. Be at the right places, the right time. When it's time to go, it's time to go. When you sense that you shouldn't be there, leave. When you sense you should not be there, you need to leave. God bless you. And I hope you were listening. Play this video back and share it with other young ladies because there's much more to talk about. But these are the simple things 
that God put in my heart to share with you ladies before the summertime. God bless.